everybody. This is Welsh Place. Um, today we're reading Belle of the Ball. And I know some of you like it. So let's read. Oh, how read a story. One Sunday, sunny morning. One Sunday, one sunny day, the bees were watching Belle dance in the country yard with Chip. It was nice to see Belle so happy. The bees knew living in the castle and being far away from her father were hard for Belle. He wanted to make sure she danced and smiled as much as possible. Later back in the room, Belle was thrilled to discover a wardrobe with lovely new dresses. The blue gown reminded her of a starry night she performed. Try, try on, suggested Chip. Belle loved the way the layers of the soft velvet twirled around her. She moved. Just then, a furry coat was um, filled in... And Belle why is it clean, Belle? So she did coat mm. bag. I would be mm. honoured to dance with you. Belle's dancing partner was quite graceful. But the set was made of wood. Mm. I can't do this. Chip had just begun joining with them. And then he noticed something. Pocket. <coughs> Pocket of the green dress. Belle, I found another surprise you can. It's a darling book with a chain. Belle said. Belle said. As she gently turned the pages, I wonder what kind of story is in it. The little book was blank except for the very first page. It said, Dearest Belle. This is your happiness book. Fill it with whatever makes you happy and wear it close to your heart. There are some people don't like Disney princesses. I don't, but I just wanted to read it to the Disney fans. Belle put the necklace on and she she has tripped the off with her with the pot and me. Mia. Belle wanted to mm. thank them for the lovely dress. What a beautiful dress! Monsieur Lumiere told Belle. Is it new? What's the interesting necklace? I don't miss it, but I've never seen anything like it. Do you mean they're not from you? Belle said, surprised. Suddenly she realised that the dress must be from the bees. <laughs> to, to do something special for him inside the Please ask the beast to meet me for dinner at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Is that my bedtime? Yeah, that is my bedtime. They have dinner at 7 o'clock. Wait, did I show you? I'm just going to show you again. beautiful dress but I reckon it wouldn't fit any of us because she's an adult bell. The butter pickle with his tray like always. On the guard finally selected the gown. Gown? Mrs. hurried to the kitchen to make sure everything was ready for dinner. Little Chip was tired to help he snowed on the floor of dresses and took a nap. As the others finished preparing for the special evening, at seven o'clock, be greeted. Hello, what are you having me in this now? Oh, at the top of the stage. Oh, wonderful! He told her. Thank you for the necklace and gown. There, be the 
beautiful as you are, replied the beast. No romance here, yuck. Death. There's lots of paper for the table. They walked to the dining room and sat down to eat. Oh. Everything looked delicious and delicious, but the beast was sad. Are my two favorite. We finished. But there is one more thing that I'll make to come out. Truly happy. You want to I'll come give out. you everything, said the beast. What is it? I know what it's going to be. Whoosh! Bell handed Aww. the beast a little bit Aww. of bread. On the second the page, can't she had written, I love seeing you smile. The beast smiled. His biggest toothy smile. His biggest toothies? Can't he have teeth? <laughs> teeth and mouth. He reached for a bell hand and glowed her across the dance floor. And there we go. Next. Bye mm. bye. See you later. Well done. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in my nice head. Really. Bye.